Yes, you're absolutely right. This is what I appreciate about you. You see things the way they are, rather than how they appear. I want to do something a little self-indulgent. Is that okay by you? Thank you. All right, here it is. I've always thought it would be fun to recapture what life was like before I joined the Liu Chi Sing. I was born into a humble family, and all the wealth you see now began with a single haul of fish. <laughs> I had to. I wasn't born with a silver spoon in my mouth. Fishing isn't the half of it. You'd be amazed at some of the odd jobs I've worked in my time. A lot of the old folks like to brag about how I used to be their errand runner back in the day. <laughs> they were tough times, but I had a clear goal and plenty of motivation. If I didn't make any money in the morning, I'd have no food for lunch. I guess that's why I came to be so obsessed with Mora. I want to relive that time for my life. Feel some of that drive again. Take a trip down memory lane. So how about it? Will you join me? Great. Then let me lay down the ground rules. We're not to use our status or reputation in Liyua Harbor to our advantage, and we have no starting capital. The goal is to see how much more we can make under these conditions. Okay. But working as a day laborer could be quite dull. Why don't we go down to the docks? They periodically throw out a lot of unclaimed or abandoned goods. We might find something that we can exchange for Mora. What does it matter? Don't worry about it. It's all part of the fun. Come on, let's go down to the docks. Uh, uh, Lady Ningguang, uh, to what do I owe the honor? Are you here to inspect the goods in the warehouse? You may have to wait a moment. I, uh, I must have not gotten the message. Sorry, I won't be long. I'll grab all the paperwork right away. Calm down. No need to panic. That's not why we're here. Uh, oh, you're just looking for... for me? I haven't done anything, H have I? I mean, I don't think so. Uh... All right, the periodic clearances. Yeah, I've been handling those strictly per the protocol. I make sure I post all the necessary notices and notify every individual that I'm required to. It used to be a huge problem, but with a bit of hard work, I've managed to reduce the amount of goods we need to clear out by at least half. It's hard to say. It really depends. Everyone has their own reasons. But as far as the warehouse is concerned, they all fall into these categories. Unclaimed goods, damaged goods, or unpaid storage fees. As for the damaged ones, I guarantee you it's nothing to do with how they're stored. It's because some things go bad more easily than others. If it sits there in the warehouse for too long, it goes without saying that it could start to affect the other goods. But that aside, even the smell is just unbearable. So, have you cleared out any of these goods recently? Um, I'm afraid we just finished clearing out all the big ones. But don't worry, Lady Ningguang. If you're here for an inspection, then I'm here to make it happen. Hang tight. I'll grab some of the smaller items for you right away. Hold on. Oh. I don't think he has quite grasped the nature of this situation. Lady Ningguang, I, I had a quick run through the list and cleared out some more items. Please, inspect them at your leisure. Let me see here. Soggy food, an odd shoe, a broken mirror, small wooden toy. It's a shame we missed the last clearance. 
We're down to the slim pickings now. Hmm. Some of these are true junk, but there are a few items of value here. Take this wooden toy, for example. The wood is good quality. If you took it apart, there's quite a number of useful everyday objects that you could turn it into. With a little work. Huh? You want it? Well, sure. Take whatever you want. It's all getting thrown away anyway. Great. This is going well. Yes. And once we're done, we will find a merchant to give us an appraisal of their value. I have no idea what's going on here, and I'm not about to ask either. Lady Ningguang, welcome to my humble store. What can I get for you? Actually, today is a little different. I'm not here to buy anything. I wanted to ask if you could take a look at some goods for me. Just take a look? What for? Oh, I see. Let me take a look then. Hmm. I mean, I can take them. I have a few regular customers I can talk to. They should be able to salvage the raw materials. It shouldn't take long at all. But, uh... What's wrong? If it's too much trouble, please. There's no need to force it. No, 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 no. It's nothing like that. <laughs> uh, well, anyway, let's talk prices. Uh, so all of these together... Uh, huh. Hmm, I'll give you 150,000 mora. How does that sound? Oh, well... Uh, no worries, no worries. Uh, the price is negotiable, of course, so we can discuss it further. If that figure's not what you had in mind, I can, uh, bump it up a little. <laughs> It'll be fine. I'm sure we can reach an agreement here. What are your thoughts? Yes. At most, these items are only worth a couple of thousand mora. Uh, huh? Wait, 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 wait a minute. So you're really here just to sell a few things? And, uh, specifically, these things? I thought that was all code for some kind of inspection or something. It appears so. We can't go on like this. Let's try something else. As long as we're in Leo Harbor, this kind of misunderstanding is inevitable. If I wasn't Ningguang, Go Sanar probably wouldn't have handed all of these over to us. And you likely wouldn't be willing to buy them, either. Uh, to be completely honest, uh, you're not wrong. This goes against the rules we set for ourselves at the start. Are there any other ways for adventurers to make Mora besides their remuneration from the guild? Great. I don't mind. Let's give it a try. Lead the way. You two have a good one. This must be the place. Let's do this.
Don't waste my time. Your life is mine. Feels like it's been a long time since I've gotten so physical. The feeling of creating your wealth with your own two hands is just as exhilarating as ever. Yes, I'd say so. Everything starts out small. You focus on quantity at the outset, and gradually shift to focusing on quality as your wealth builds. And let's not forget, we started with no initial capital. It's reasonable to expect building something from nothing to be highly demanding. In any case, the sight of Mora has always had a way of improving my mood, no matter what the sum is. I intend to. I'm not ready to stop yet. This time, let's try something a little more challenging. Another satisfying haul. Ah, what a feeling. That's very kind of you. But I know I'm no match for a professional adventurer like yourself. For me, a battle is just a form of exercise. A way to keep fit and use up any surplus energy. Oh no, not yet. There's more Mora to be made. Hey, look! What's that hole in the ground? Oh, I see. So if we catch it, there's Mora for the taking? Oh, how quaint. That was your Beto impression, was it? <laughs> well, I'm afraid I'm having far too much fun to stop what I'm doing and start bickering with you, Captain. Come on, let's go get this weasel thief. Goodness, this reminds me of fishing. Not an easy catch. But we didn't let it slip away, and the haul is now ours. That's what counts. Let's see. <laughs> a little over a thousand Mora. We can't do any serious business with this amount of starting capital. We need to keep working hard. Actually, now that you mention it, I'm suddenly a little hungry. Huh. Amidst the thrill of the chase, I didn't even notice. Wang Shuin is right there, but... 
Same thoughts here. After how hard we work to get our hands on this Mora, it would be a shame to eat it all in a single sitting. In which case, I think I'll take this opportunity to show you a skill that I used to be rather proud of. Yes, but the rule of the game is no fishing rods allowed. We're going fishing by hand. Come on, let's go down to the river. This should be enough. Let's head back to land and grill them. Here, have a taste of my cooking. A fresh catch can go straight on the grill with minimal preparation and it tastes delicious, even with no seasoning. It's a little charred, that's on purpose. I just like how it tastes. Normally, I have to make a special request to the chef if I want it to taste like this. I'm okay. It was nothing. Back in the day, I had to hurry home after work to do my household chores. Then in the evening, it was out to the night market with the family to support our stall. I was always meticulous with the most menial of tasks. My mother always loved that about me. But by the same token, she didn't love the idea of me leaving home and starting my own business. She thought it was just an unnecessary risk when I could just carry on helping out at home instead. You'd be more likely to see me pulling up outside Wanmin restaurant and selling grilled tigerfish from a food cart. My childhood memories run deep. I'll always have a special affection for fish. They are confined to the water, and yet they live free swimming around wherever the mood takes them. It is. I have greatly enjoyed experiencing the adventurer lifestyle with you. When I think back on all my hard work in the past, it motivates me to face the challenges that lie ahead in the future. <laughs> that sounds great. I'm looking forward to it. But, a word of warning. I am very picky about my grilled fish. I can be a tough lady to impress. Before I get into specifics, I want to start by giving you the big picture. As a member of the Liyue Qixing, Lady Ningguang's every move is in the spotlight. Maintaining her perfect image at all times is absolutely essential. My usual job is to be her right hand, to maintain her image, and take care of all her worries. For example, arranging her daily schedule, picking out clothes for her, dressing her, applying her perfume... Uh, <clears throat> you misunderstand me. I am simply trying to impress upon you the sheer importance of the work you will be undertaking. Baishu has always been very passionate about her work. 
I can leave any task in her capable hands and rest assured that her performance will be nothing short of exemplary. I'm sure she was simply trying to share some of her enthusiasm, in the hopes that you may find it infectious. <laughs> Thank you, Lady Ningguang. Back to the topic at hand. Let's get into the details. Bai Xiao and Bai Wen handle tasks that require enormous experience, while I'm mainly responsible for organizing her daily schedule and making sure she is well fed, dressed for any occasion, and that all her needs are met. I can go through the methods I use and give you some pointers based on my experience to ensure that you are fully equipped to perform your duties. All in a day's work for the Traveler, hmm? Great, then I'll skip that and just get to the handover of duties. Currently, there are 133 items that have yet to be scheduled, 17 of which are high importance, and... Yes, I did try to make a start in advance, but only got as far as roughly prioritizing the tasks before I ran out of time. I'll go through the most important items with you in more detail. If there's anything you don't understand, feel free to stop me with questions at any point. First is the periodic meeting with the representatives of the eight trades. After that, fielding opinions on revisions to the current tax legislation. Then, a discussion with Lady Kuching on issues relating to time restrictions on land conveyance deals. Following that, there's a Q&A session with all the major commerce guilds. Right after that, there's... Yes, you do. To the uninitiated, scheduling may sound like a simple process of matching tasks to time slots, but there is actually far more to it than that. You need to take travel time into account, along with a whole spectrum of potential issues that can arise. Ample knowledge of all outside factors that may weigh upon your plan A is essential to devise a workable contingency plan. I assume this is all making sense. Unless you had any other questions at this point? Good. Then let's press on. We're tight on time here, and there's a lot to get through. And we still need to leave enough time for you to prepare Lady Ningguang's schedule. Already? Wow. You're a fast learner. Very good. This will be much more efficient. Wonderful. Then I'll be counting on you to provide my schedule for tomorrow. I'm grateful for your assistance. Now, I will leave you here in peace to proceed with your work. I still have a few items from today's schedules that need addressing. If anything else is unclear, you can ask by sure. Take care, Lady Ningguang. You factored in both priority and efficiency, and produced a rigorous and well-structured schedule. You've clearly considered it from every angle. Excellent work. You've got quite a knack for this. Please be here at the Jade Chamber tomorrow morning before Lady Ningguang wakes up and start preparing based on the schedule. With you helping out here, we will be able to focus fully on the auction. It will be quite a complicated affair. I hope so, too. You must be exhausted. Make sure you get an early night tonight. Yes, I'm already awake. I'll be out in a moment. I'm just changing. Good morning. Did you sleep well? There's nothing to worry about. We just need to go through the schedule you made and tick the items off one by one. Now then, the schedule. Let's see what you have for me today. Item 1. Lunch at Liu Li Pavilion with Mesua Chiao. Ah, yes. I remember the invitation. I need to make sure I'm well prepared for this. 
No, someone I've never met before. Today's lunch will be our first time meeting each other. <laughs> She's paying a high price for my time, and I intend to make sure she gets her money's worth. Otherwise, tens of millions of Mora is rather a high price for a lunch, even one at Leoli Pavilion, wouldn't you say? That's right. Even at this price, there is no shortage of people willing to pay for a lunch opportunity with me. To be clear, I've never had any hand in setting the price. I too was rather surprised to see it become so expensive. Time is very valuable to me, so when I first came up with the idea, I made a rule that my time would go to the highest bidder. Gradually, it developed into a lucrative business. Yes, that sums it up very well. Most people looking to buy my time are business people who believe that whatever they spend now, they will make back several times over in due course. Naturally, for anyone looking to make a profit in a complex market, the bottom line is having the requisite experience and expertise. All I can do for them is share whatever insight I may have. As for how much my insight is worth in terms of Mora, everyone has their own idea. There is no standardized way to measure something like this. You're a very lucky person, you know. You get to sit in on this lunch for free. In the hands of a professional business person, the kind of information you'll be exposed to would be worth, well, tens of millions of mora. There's no need to be nervous, of course. Now, let's have some breakfast before we leave. Did you organize this entire breakfast? Uh -huh. I know what's going on, then. Please, sit. Have a taste of the Jade Chamber chef's cooking. This kind of food tastes far less satisfying if left out for too long. What do you think? Is the food to your liking? Oh, don't forget we have a lunch later. Save some space, or you might miss out on some even better food. Still, I'm happy to see that you approve of my culinary tastes. On occasion, usually everyone is too busy for a leisurely sit-down meal. There is an awful lot to get done most of the time. Breakfast also isn't usually so lavish, hence my surprise when we got here. I actually thought you had cooked it all yourself. Relax, I'm just joking. But I sure probably made arrangements yesterday to add a few extra dishes to the breakfast menu. You willingly took this work on, knowing that it would be tedious, and you have worked diligently. My secretaries and I are very grateful to you. Treating you to some food is but a small token of our appreciation. Breakfast sets the tone for the rest of the day. You can't compromise on it. If you wake up to the same monotonous meal each day, you will start to feel fatigued even before you start working. Well, I'm done eating. We should get ready, then head off to Leoli Pavilion. I have some preparations to make first. Could you bring my clothes to my room, please? I need a change of mood. And a change of clothes will facilitate that. Who knows? Perhaps you will have a completely different impression of me after I change outfits. I already instructed Long Yang to have my outfit ready. You can fetch it from her. Thank you. I'll be in my room. Hello, how may I help? Ah, 
Yes, of course. Please wait a moment. I'll go and get them. Here you are. Please give this to Lady Ningguang. Yes, this whole room is full of Lady Ningguang's personal items. Not just clothes, either. There are all kinds of jewelry and ornaments. Lady Ningguang asked us to rearrange this room recently. We're currently right in the middle of that, so everything's in a bit of a mess. That's why it took me a little time to find this for you. Anyway, you can take it now. Thanks for coming to pick it up. La la la. Did you get it? Ah, uh, this is the one. Please, wait for a moment. I had this specially tailored recently, and I must say, I'm really rather fond of it. What do you think? Be honest. I just want to know your first impression. Phew. <laughs> Thank you. I was actually a little nervous. Knowing that it has your seal of approval makes me feel much more self-confident. Oh, then it's mere flattery. You pick your moments to wisecrack, don't you? Now I don't know whether to take what you said earlier seriously. I never knew you had such a mischievous side. All right, let's head to Lee Lee Pavilion. Sorry to have kept you waiting. No, no, not at all. I know that you have a thousand different things to do each day. I'm very grateful for any amount of time you can spare for me. Great. Well, let's leave the formalities aside from now on and make this just a friendly chat. This is the Traveler. I'm assuming you've heard of him. He happened to be in Liyua Harbor today, so I invited him to come along. It's a rare opportunity to dine with him, too. Do you mind if he sits with us? No, not at all. On the contrary, I'm honored. What a surprise to be dining with the illustrious traveler, too. I've always been fascinated by you and your adventures. There's so many questions I'd love to ask you. I'm sorry. Where are my manners? I forgot to introduce myself. <laughs> Look at me, getting all overexcited. I'm Luo Qiao, a businesswoman. I work mostly in the textile business, but recently I've been considering branching out into some other markets. That's what I wanted to ask Lady Ningguang for some advice about. I didn't know there'd be a surprise guest involved, too. <laughs> so, the rumors are true, then. Rumors? About what, exactly? You know, the rumors about the two of you, Lady Ningguang and the Traveler, having a, a closer-than-average relationship. You haven't heard? Come on, you must know that Lady Ningguang's every move is in the spotlight. That obviously includes her relationships. 
And if you didn't have some sort of special relationship, why would she invite you to this lunch right after finding out that you were back in Liyue Harbor? <laughs> Interesting. Yes, we do have a special relationship, but I don't see anything unusual about it. The Traveler is a national hero in Liyue whose actions have directly contributed toward the prosperity we enjoy today. Even putting aside my official status as one of the Liyue Qixing, I admire him on a personal level too. Oh, yes. Well, there is nothing unusual about it at all. I was just observing that Lady Ningguang now seems to have a second interesting character in her innermost circle. The first one being the captain. You're comparing apples and sunsetias there. Whenever Beidou returns to Liyue Harbor, all she brings me is a headache. I've missed out on a number of extremely promising investment opportunities thanks to her. In fact, the timing is always so suspiciously coincidental, I can't help but wonder if she's doing it on purpose. Investment opportunities? Oh, do you mean the luminescent spying business? I hear that's been all the rage recently. No, something else. All the talk about luminescent spines is just empty hype. Oh, but isn't there some new technology from Fontaine that needs lots of luminescent spines to make it work? If it were really that profitable, those in the know would have kept it as quiet as possible. You have to wonder, if the news is spreading like wildfire, who's fanning the flames? I had my secretary do some analysis. The current price of luminescent spines far exceeds the profits that could be made on the end product. So I would advise you to be cautious. I see. Well, <laughs> I was planning to get your opinion on how to get started in that business. In my opinion, there are many people around with ulterior motives, making this a very risky business to enter into in the short term. Long term, it's very difficult to say. But I believe there's too much uncertainty to make it worth your investment. You worked hard to earn every more you own, and you should be just as careful spending it as you were making it. You think so too, huh? Okay, got it. If that's what both of you think, I'll take my time and not rush into anything. Maybe it'd be a better choice to invest this money into an industry that I'm genuinely interested in getting involved with. Lady Ningguang, thank you so much for taking the time to meet with me today. I didn't know how much we'd get through, but you've answered every question I wanted to ask. Good. I'm glad I could be of some help. Now I see why you were able to become the most successful business person in Liyue Harbor. You think clearly, you are very knowledgeable, and you keep yourself well informed. <laughs> it would take me a very long time to come anywhere close to your level. You've been listening for a while. Are you getting bored? Has it sparked an interest in the business world for you? That means you also have a good head on your shoulders, and the ability to learn rapidly. If you are in need of more of, you should absolutely consider doing business. I won't take up any more of your time. Thank you. This lunch was everything I was hoping for and more. I can't wait to try out everything I've learned. See you next time. I'll look forward to hearing good news from you soon. Right then. Lunch is over. I assume you have something planned next? Although... I'm a little concerned about the auction. I wonder how my secretarial trio is getting along. Good. Then let's do that. There are some slippery characters among the bidders, you see. 
So, even though my secretaries are very capable and experienced, I still can't help worrying for them a little. Come on, the auction is being held at Eugene Terrace. What brings you here? I couldn't help but feel a little concerned. So I just came to see how everything is going. We're about ready and people are starting to arrive. I think we should be able to start on time. Very good. I think I'll host the auction myself. Huh? Do you want to do it yourself? Yes. Just in case anything untoward happens. I can take care of it myself. Then we'll leave the auction itself to you. But we'll be sure to lend our full support behind the scenes. Have you attended an auction before? Well, would you like to participate this time? You don't have to bid, of course. Just experience the atmosphere. All right then. Feel free to take a look around the venue before it kicks off. Check out the items up for bidding and see if there's anything you might be interested in. <laughs> <laughs> 